You've done some pretty stupid things in your day, but this... Thanks for cake? Henry shoved me. Based on Casey McQuiston's critically acclaimed New York Times bestseller, Red, White, and Royal Blue marks the first feature film writing and directing debut of Tony Award winning playwright Matthew Lopez. What's Trending had a chance to chat with the director on what went into making this production truly possible. Matthew Lopez, known for his accolades in playwriting, directed the film from a screenplay he co-wrote with Ted Malawar. The movie was produced by a multitude of executive producers with collaborations with two-time Oscar-nominated director of photography Stephen Goldblatt and Berlanti Schechter Films Productions. Have you thought of what you might say to convince the world that we're actually friends? I love hanging out with this guy. The notable film stars Taylor Zakhar Perez as the son of the President of the United States, Alex Claremont Diaz, and Nicholas Galestine as Prince Henry of the Royal Crown. The two evolved from holding grudges behind the public eye to a romantic relationship for the world on display. In her interview with Lopez, the Tony Award winner stated that he would not have wanted to make this movie at all if the team could not find the real life personas to play the lead characters. That was the one thing that I basically said to the to the producers in the studio that this is the this is the hill I'll die on, right? Like if if we don't cast correctly then I don't see any point in making the movie. If we cannot find two actors who can really embody these roles and bring them to life on screen, then there's just no way that I can see myself making this movie. In addition to casting, director Matthew Lopez mentioned that the production team set an incredibly high bar for what they want to achieve in the movie. Knowing the book had a large fan base, the team wanted to honor the novel and create something that was built to last and quote, stick in people's minds. And yes, aside from setting these high bars, the team took time to intricately detail components of the production behind the scenes, including the infamous cake debacle at the royal wedding. Lopez admits that although not all of the cake itself was real, there were in fact buckets of icing on set to cover the cast, and everything on their suits was real edible cake. But it was a one, it was one piece. It was, I mean, it was quite big. It was as well as, you know, as big as, as it looks, and uh, it was made of of foam rubber and, and latex. One of the things that we really were conscious about is, is sort of avoiding food waste. Like it was actually, it was a conversation that I had with my production designer. We're just like, we're not going to like waste. Real cake. And yeah, I mean, you have to use real cake in some instances, but I would say 90% of what you see in the movie is fake. In the end, Matthew Lopez stated that even though the book was quite lengthy in comparison to the film, the team could not fit everything they wanted into the movie. In order to do the novel justice that it truly deserved and keep the plot lines intact, Lopez stated that the team kept their focus on the relationship of their main subjects, Alex and Henry. When we were cutting the film and putting it together, and we we obviously, you know, we filmed more than we put into the, into the movie, as you always do. It really was just, it became incredibly simple in that Everything that was about Alec and Henry and the relationship belonged to the movie and everything that didn't, didn't. 